Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Today we're going to talk to you about certificates of good standing, uh, how to get them and what to look out for. Okay, so a certificate of good standing is a document provided by a medical regulatory authority. Uh, it can usually be provided by any of those that you've worked for around the world. So each medical council will have its own method of doing this. Um, and it basically shows any outstanding investigations or any uh, pending concerns or anything that, um, that should be made aware to uh, the medical regulatory authority that you're moving on to. So usually in the case that we're, we're discussing the GMC. Okay, so when you apply to the GMC, you're going to need to obtain certificates of good standing from each medical council that you've worked for over the last five years. And in fact, each medical council that you've been registered with, even if you haven't worked in that country. Um, on the GMC's website, and we'll post a link to this, uh, there is a directory of all of the uh, medical councils and how to obtain the certificates of good standing from those. So it's a drop down list of each country and it will give you further guidance, a link to the website that you need to request it from or who you need to write to. And indeed, if they don't provide certificates of good standing, what you need to do in that instance as well. Okay, so what does a certificate of good standing need to show? Well, it needs to cover all of the time that you've worked in that country or state. So make sure that uh, it does actually cover your start and end dates of your employment in those countries. Some people do find that they have issues if they've started work or they've maybe started a clinical attachment but then uh, joined officially on the medical register later on before starting their actual role. So just make sure that everything tallies up and that you can clarify if there are any question marks uh, there. Um, you need to confirm of course that you've been entitled to actually practice medicine whilst you were there so you can't just be registered, you need to be registered with a license to practice of course. Um, it'll need to confirm that you've not been disqualified, that there's, you've not been suspended, that there's not any pending uh, matters, any pending investigations or anything that would call into question your medical practice whilst moving to the GMC. Uh, and finally, it needs to be um, submitted in English. So of course, uh, it may be um, granted to you in a foreign language, you might need to get it translated into English before submitting it to the GMC. Okay, so hopefully that's been of some use in telling you a bit more about certificates of good standing and what to look out for on them. Um, if you do have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to discuss with us about certificates of good standing or any aspects of moving to the UK, please get in touch. As always, we'll put the contact details up at the end of the video.